Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Monday, which means it is time for another Nas Watches Sales at Wick, but the the other one, the one that's not black. <laughs> Don't shoot, that man isn't black. Ah, uh, dubs. Fun. But yes, so in the previous episode of Cells at Work, the one that isn't of a different color, um, we followed Red Blood Cell as she made her way around the circulatory system, and I was very confused about a lot of the symbolism, but okay then, okay then, gamer, alright. And I like how in the comments a lot of you are like, I don't fucking know. I don't know, I mean, it's just... <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know, it's a good feeling, like, to just be like, I don't understand that, and the comments are like, yeah, that's kind of stupid, yeah, no, like, but I I don't remember what the next time on Dragon Ball Z is, because honestly, Cells at Work Black just kind of, like, blew my dick clean off, like, the entire, like, you know, like, a couple days ago, so, screw it. Let's get in here and let's see what our boys and girls get up to, shall we? In three, two, one, and go! Uh, sailors at work. <laughs> I am still, I am so excited to see what the opening for Sales at Work Black is gonna be. Cause I don't think I've seen it yet. Like, cause, cause the first episode didn't have it. It was just like cold open all the way through, and then it got an ending. And the ending was just, hey, here's what his life would be like if he wasn't in, <laughs> basically, if he was in the original show. The opening has changed. What? Was the opening always sung by Macrophage and I just never noticed? That Ara Ara just stuck out to me, like, massively. Macrophage episode? Big Titty Onesan Macrophage? Ara ara! Ara ara, such a cute little germ! Chk! Thymocyte. Oh, yeah, this is. this is a baby. Baby uh, killer T cells, right? <laughs> They're all working very hard, but nowhere near as hard as the ones in the other series. Cause oh boy, <laughs> they try and so hard. And they're all just kind of assholes. Aw, oh, he's helping out the platelets. Oh, I love the platelets, they're good. They're good little beans. God, I kind of want Cells at Work Black to just have, like, an episode about HIV. And the entire episode is just Killer T-Cell just getting absolutely shit-fucked. Like, he just, he just gets, he shows up, like, I'll get him! And then just HIV shows up right behind him and just slits his throat. Well, no. No, they, they don't have spines, T-Cell. In fact, none of you have bones. <laughs> you're pro- you're- you're- You're pro- you're prokaryotic organisms. I had to remember what it was there for a second. Oh! 
Who's who's that cutie right there? Who's who's that? My man. <laughs> like oh god. Like they they taught they spent a lot of time when I was in high school just teaching us about HIV. It's like we like was there just like a massive HIV outbreak in like the mid 2000s? Ooh. Damn, she cute. Damn, I can't believe I can't believe Helper T cells fucking dead. I mean, you know, helper, you're, you know, this isn't your job, you know, this is supposed to be regulatory T-cells job, I don't know about that one. Like, I want regulatory to just step in and just smack him upside the head. They don't have those. My mans, you keep talking about organs they don't have. No, they're former lovers. <laughs> His role is to snitch. They're involved in snitching. <laughs> Holy shit! Yo, Commander about to take that boy out! Oh. Uh, I want to see help her just break killer's jaw right right just in the background oh I love how they're just being like, they're just treating it like it's the Marines. Yes, nurturing. That's what he's doing. Yeah. 110% that's what he's doing. Yeah, no. What did he just bite? What did he just bite? And they will be dissolved and recycled. God, kind of messed up that these are these are children. They're just like, oh yeah, no, only about like one to three percent of y'all are gonna survive. Most of y'all gonna die today. That pose. On... <laughs> so if so if Commander's dick was so big, why is he the commander now? Like you'd think he'd be he'd be out working better as a as a killer, wouldn't he?
Like, I understand, like, this sort of tactical thinking, but sh shit. <laughs> My man's efficient. Oh my god, he's great. He's like, he's like Tiny Itachi. <laughs> what would be the body's equivalent of the Middle East? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. God, this man is the master of the backhand. Holy shit. Kick his ass! Oh, and that's the regular. So this is how she became a regulatory T cell by br by breaking up their fight. Oh. I assume flunked out is a euphemism for goddamn died. <laughs> goddamn it, anime. Stop showing violence against children. It's never not funny. Goddamn it. <laughs> for, for legal reasons, that was a joke. His... His combat sounds, his grunt sounds like he's calling him a bitch, which isn't incorrect. Bitch! My mans, maybe if you actually won every down again, maybe you'd get to earn your tea. It's time for crime. It's time for crime. <laughs> Wouldn't he have noticed that his bunkmate wasn't in the room? Like, Jesus. Oh, uh, he's such a stupid idiot. I guess some things never change, huh? Oh god, his fists are bleeding. Oh god, Killer T used to be a weeb. Killer T used to be a weeb, but when he grew up, he just became a jock. Unbridled passion versus efficiency. Oh, I like this little... I like this little piano rendition of the ending theme. <laughs> I 
Uh, like, I don't really give a shit about Killer T. He's probably, like, my least favorite character in the series, but honestly, seeing him get his shit kicked in as a kid is honestly kind of funny. <laughs> he pulls out a revolver. <laughs> we need to get rid of... We need to get rid of most of you. <laughs> Six chambers, one bullet. You go until... We go until we're down half of you. Positive selection. Oh. Cool. So it's literally just which ones of you can actually kill things and which ones of you are going to wind up killing yourselves and waste resources. God, I love how utilitarian the body is sometimes. Like, sometimes the human body has, like, ridiculous levels of... Ridiculous levels of, like, inefficiency and stupid bullshit. But, like... Nah, like, this sort of, this sort of, like, horrible utilitarian efficiency is just great. God, Macrophage looks so happy to see someone just die. Jesus. So who are the guys in the hazmat suits? That's what I want to know. They always hang out with Macrophage, but what's their, what's their deal? <clears throat> Imagine if he punched so hard he went through the wood and just punched Macrophage right in the face. Like, would that be a failure, I wonder? Ooh! Ooh, my boy! My boy just hit him with the straight truth. <clears throat> oh my god. The big twist. This isn't the killer T-cell we know. He actually fails here and dies. That means you don't get recycled into proteins. Excellent work. I mean, honestly, honestly, Commander, you probably should just, you know, have let him fail. The man's really self-destructive, I don't know. Like, this man should have failed. This man should have failed. Jesus Christ. The commander literally brought George Bush's No Child Left Behind into the human body. Congratulations! Seriously, goddamn! There's a reason no child left behind didn't work! Goddamn, son! Oh, uh, that's probably spit or piss. That river right there. Gonna ruin this nice moment for everyone. That or it's just lymph, which is also gross. And that's how kidney stones are made. <laughs> From the color, I think it might actually just be piss. Because it means he's gonna be killed. I 
I mean, you are kind of a dumbass killer. Like, I want to see this, I want to see this punch reenacted in the, it, it just, in the, in the, like, the modern time. This is the most anime moment in the show, goddamn. Oh, they held hands. Ah, oh. ah, oh, cringe, gay. <laughs> yes, and then you're going to, and then you're going to be a dick to everyone forever. Like honestly, I feel like the commander helping him cheat is probably like the worst thing he could have done. Oh, he's such an asshole! I love him! Killer T telling... telling someone to loosen up. Damn, son, that's ironic. God, Dendrite... Dendrite really out here. Dendrite really out here like a voyeur. Dendrite, truly the most powerful cell. It's important blackmail. Uh, like, I wonder how strong the commander actually is. Because the commander strikes me as the kind of person that even like when he's off work, you know, he you know he's out back. He's got like he's got like the dummy. He's got like the fighting tape around his fist. He just <laughs> You know, he's like throwing he's like throwing fucking hands. It's like an underground fight club in the human body. T cell, T cell goes out, gets hard on his luck. Registers for an underground fight ring. His first opponent's the commander. Just rolls up, rips his shirt off. He's got a dragon tattoo on his back. He's wrapping fighting tape round his fist. Like, I'm sorry, like, I, I know I'm laughing at my own mental image, but it's just so funny for some reason. I don't know. I'm stupid. No thoughts, head empty. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Why am I stupid? God damn it. Every time I try- oh god, is this bitch again? Uh, like every time- every time I try- Oh, uh, every time I try not to think of it, just stop laughing, it comes back in my head and- oh, jeez. Oh no, oh no, I'm stupid, all my brain cells, they're turning- oh no! They're being replaced with that image, oh no! Uh, okay, so, um... Uh, so I actually knew, like, quite a, quite a bit about this, because, like, like I said, like, so, 
so I don't know if like people can like, like like associate with. I don't know because once again, like I am an immigrant and I came to America like in the middle of schooling. So I and I and I don't know how much of my experience is is. <clears throat> Oh, pardon me. How much of my experience is 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 common and how much of it isn't? But when I was in high school, so like it was like two thousand, like mid to late two thousands. Like I graduated twenty thirteen. Um, like it seemed like almost every fucking year there was like a, a health class or a, or a health adjacent class, and they would just teach us about HIV, like nonstop for like most of the goddamn year. And and I swear to God, I learned so much about about like T cells and helper T cells and regulatory T cells and how HIV interacts with them, and to the point where, like I thought, like like I said, like I said at the start of the series, I thought that there was one type of white blood cell. I thought there was one type of white blood cell, but I knew all the different types of T cells, like. Like I still can't remember. Like I know there's like a white there's there's the there's the generic white blood cell, the neutrophil. I know that there is the white blood cell we don't know any like and that's all from this show. The white blood cell that we don't know what it does. There's the white blood cell that deals with parasites. Like there's like like apparently like B cells are a thing. I didn't know that was I didn't know that I thought I thought antibodies were just a thing that the body just had. I didn't know that they had to be made by something. I, I, uh, like, but yet, like, I knew about the thymus. I knew about killer T cells. I, like, I didn't know about naive T cells. I'll say that. I didn't know about t naive T cells, but honestly, they're not really that important to HIV. So I guess, so I guess they didn't teach it. Um, like, I knew about regulatory T-cells, I knew about the helper T-cells, like, I, I knew about all of these different fucking things, and I knew nothing about the rest of the immune system. Because for some reason, high schools in Florida in the years between 2005 and 2013, like, it's just all HIV all the time. Like I, like, I could sit down and I could tell you exactly how HIV works in the body, how it how it progresses into AIDS, how like the medicines work to suppress it, and and everything. But I could not, for the life of me, before watching the show, tell you how any of the rest of the immune system worked. Like, <laughs> fuck, dude. Oh, Jesus. Um, but other than that, like, this episode is really really good about teaching people about T cells and. Like if I, I if I if I assume that regular biology classes teach the opposite of the way I was taught, where they teach you about all the different white blood cells and and just kind of skimp on the on the T cells, because it's one virus, it's one fucking virus that affects T cells, one. And everything else T cells do is basically just an advanced version of what the other ones do, so they're not really all that important, like in the long run, like. You know, like you got natural killer cells to deal with cancer. You've got neutrophils to deal with regular germs. You've got, um, friggin' uh, the, the 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 pink one whose name I forgot to deal with parasites and allergies. Like, like like T cells are just basically the shock troops. Like, oh, none of that shit worked. All right, send the Marines. But. <laughs> Like, you know, like, it's, it's just, uh. but overall, like, this, this episode is really, really good. Like, it teaches you, um, a lot, like, about the thymus, um, it teaches you, like, like, I mean, we already got taught about naive T-cells, like, it teaches you about the different types of T-cells, it shows you, like, you know, kind of, like, a, a dramatized version of, like, the selection and, and distribution process, like, it's really good, it's really cool, like, I, I like it a lot, um, I still don't like Killer T as a character. I, I think that he is a, a giant piece of shit. And honestly, as much as I like this episode, um, and honestly, this episode really made the Commander shine more than anything, because up until this point, the Commander's really been, like, a non-entity as a character. He's just kind of been, like, he just sits there, he sips tea, and he's like, Hey, yo, there's guys in the in the ball sack. Fuck him up. 
and that's and that's been like the 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 level of what he is you know like we've got like a little small glimpses into him as a person here and there but like it's been very very minimal to the point where it might as well be nothing but the fact that here we got to see him as a kid where he was like this hyper efficient like no i'm going to be the best i am a genius i'm a genius and, and and just kind of like as he as he's grown older he has kind of mellowed out a little bit and he's like this really hype he's, he's kind of he's got like a little he's a little goofy at times like oh desk works so hard if you want to if you want to switch be my guest yeah. but like it, there's still that that level of of competitiveness like inside him and just i don't know i really like him as a character like he he really strikes me as this well as the epitome of this kid who all through school was like Oh, he's a genius, he's brilliant, he's amazing, he's gonna do all this stuff. And, like, as he's grown up and he's, you know, settled into his life as an adult, he's like, man, all that pressure was kind of cringe. Yeah, I'm gonna be goofy when I want. And when he goes goofy, he goes real goofy. Because I know people like that. I know people like that. Like... Like, I'm kind of like that. I mean, look what I do. Look what I do as part of my income. <laughs> and I guarantee you, if you went back to how I was in school, and it was it was nonstop pressure, it was nonstop, you gotta be the best, it was always, oh, you did this well? Well, it's not good enough. Even though it was basically top of the class. <laughs> you know, like, it's it, it just, 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 just nonstop all the way through to the point where... As I got older, I stopped giving a shit, and I started feeling a lot more comfortable with myself, and I started feeling a lot more comfortable being a little bit of a goober, with being, like, being myself and not hiding who I am. You know, I still do that a little bit, because, you know, old habits die hard, but, you know. When, you, when all you know is hiding under a sheet, going out of the sheet all at once is very hard. That's, that's, that's what I'm gonna say. But, uh, but all in all, like, I, I do really like this episode. Like, it looks good, it's fun, it's educational, and it really makes, like, a character that we didn't know anything about turn into one of my favorites. Um, really, what it did for Killer T, though, is it made one of my least favorite characters become, like, even more of a least favorite character, because it shows that yeah, he's kind of just been a piece of shit dumbass the entire time, and the only reason that he is here is because of com of the commander's, like, kindness. Like, the commander showed him a little bit of kindness, and it allowed an incompetent, bumbling idiot, the commander's own words, to basically get much, much farther than he otherwise would. You know, like, he should have failed selection. He should have been recycled into proteins and just gone. Like, you know, like, it's just, mm, like, I, uh, mm, I don't know. Like, it, it just, it, it says a lot more about the commander than it does him. Like, it is, it is by the commander's grace that he is even still alive. So the fact that he treats the naive T-cell so goddamn poorly, the fact that he treats regular cells so goddamn poorly, the fact that he treats even his friggin' compatriots like white blood cells so goddamn badly, is 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 borderline inexcusable like if he was like if, if growing up like, he had been like treated poorly by the other by other cells and like a white blood cell would call him a bitch or just like a bunch of like other stuff they just basically like painted it like basically paint him into a corner where he's like yeah all these other cells fuck them they treated me like shit so i'm gonna treat them like shit right back that'd be a little bit that'd be a little bit more understandable but the fact that like he never even met any other cells and he was, like, so goddamn incompetent that he was, like, he was literally one dipshit character trait away from, away from being just completely filtered out the entire time through. Like, like, to, to be the opposite of the commander, like, whereas the commander is, like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, knuckle down, I'm gonna go, boom, 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 overachieve, 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 overachieve. Like, and, and then when he grows up, he's like, ah, fuck it, I'm gonna hang out. Like, Killer T is the the absolute dipshit of the class that scrapes by with a like a sixty nine point nine grade average. So the only reason that he is even passing is because the school rounds point nine up to the nearest up to the nearest percentage. 
scrapes through all the way, graduates, and then acts like he was like, oh, I'm the biggest dick G in the entire body. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, that, that really just rubs me the wrong way. Like, that really, 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 really rubs me the wrong way. Like, and it makes it come, him come across as insecure, and that is... Using insecurity as an excuse to bully other people is, is not a good thing. It is, it, mm, it's not a good, it's not, it's not an attractive character trait. <laughs> I'm gonna say that. But, um, but yeah, that's really all I gotta say. Uh, show good, episode good, killer tea bad. And honestly, I feel like it's on purpose. Like, he's not a, it's not a bad character, but he is a bad character. You know what I mean? Like, he is a, he is not a badly written character, but he is a bad person. There you go. There's, 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 there's the tea. <laughs> but, yeah, that's really all I gotta say. So let me know what you thought of this episode down there in the comments. Whether you liked it, you disliked it, or you want to bring up something I left out. Because that's a thing that happens sometimes. Oh, mm, boy. And if there's, like, some biology fact that you want to bring up, then, hey, I like biology facts. Leave them, leave them, leave them down below. Leave them. Put, the, put the biology facts in the comments section, I swear to God. But yeah, so as always, everybody, I am Nozovix. Remember to like, comment, bear, subscribe, share on social media, tell your friends, hit the share button down below. And if I'm not sick tomorrow, which, uh, by the way, I record all these on Sunday, by the way. So if I'm not sick on Monday, um, there's going to be a live stream at 6 p.m. Eastern if you, wanna, if you want some more content. Uh, and also, uh, there's my Cyberpunk 2077 Let's Play that's continually ongoing. So if you're interested in that, because that game's actually pretty good... The fucking, it's just really cool to hate it, like, lately, Jesus, uh, then that's linked as well. So, oh boy, there's a lot more content for you. Oh boy. Keep an eye out for Maiden Abyss tomorrow, and I will see you in the next video. But most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today, and I will see you a roundabout.